Federal prosecutors say two Metro Atlanta residents stole other people's identities in order to steal Georgia unemployment benefits, and they allegedly did it on a massive scale. Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray, live now at the federal courthouse in downtown Atlanta. And Justin, that's where the two were formally charged just this week. And George, the grand jury indictment says the two became millionaires by stealing unemployment benefits. They're now facing a long list of charges, and they are now... They are not sorry about that. They are now facing a long list of charges, and this case says they use stolen identities to get there. Hey there, I'm Justin Gray with Channel 2. We're looking for Wayne Lowe or Shanita no, Daniel. He doesn't live here? No. Did he ever live here? No. You you at the wrong house. I'm a, you seem to know the name, though. So what? Uh, but he's not here. He's in a federal holding facility. But this is the address Wayne Lowe listed as his with the Secretary of State for one of several allegedly fake businesses tied to what federal prosecutors say was a massive scheme to steal Georgia and California unemployment benefits at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. This was fictitious companies with stolen identities as the employees. Right, I mean, it was very sophisticated. Georgia Labor Commissioner Mark Butler tells me his office paid out unemployment for the fake companies because the employees were real employees with real social security numbers. The sham companies even correctly filed their quarterly taxes. According to this federal grand jury indictment of Wayne Lowe and Shanita Daniel, they used the names and social security numbers of people who had no knowledge of the scheme. They stole identities pocketing the unemployment payments for themselves. Prosecutors say it was profitable. Lowe and Daniel allegedly stole more than $1.5 million in Georgia unemployment benefits through all their fake companies. These funds were going to help people during a very difficult time and to go and try to twist that and bend it, uh, you know, for, for profit and gain. I'm really happy to see that, you know, we're seeing some, uh, you know, arrest. And what about all those stolen identities? It turns out many of the people whose identities were stolen didn't even live in Georgia. Over the past couple of years, we've told you about people who got surprise tax bills for unemployment benefits they never applied for or never received their identities stolen. We're working on that part of this story, all new for 6 o'clock. Live in downtown Atlanta, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News.